Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to uh, record the movements of uh, two servo motors and play back the, those movements to the servo, okay, using Python and Arduino Ono and the uh, Excel file. <coughs> Uh, in the previous video we have done this for one servo so now we will make this two two servos okay and uh, and yes you can add three servos or four or five or how many you want so let's jump to the Arduino IDE this is the Arduino's code uh, first of all, we include the servo library. <coughs> we initialize two servos. The boot rate is uh, 9600. The first servo is 2 pin 4. And the second servo is 2 pin 2. Uh, in fact, this is my Arduino Ono. And uh, if the serial is available, read the character. If the uh, uh, read the character then read the integer so if the character is a the servo one will, will uh, write the value the integer value if it's b the servo will write val the integer value so in, uh, like if you want to add uh, more servos you can just copy and paste this if statement and change this character and put your third servo this is it uh, <coughs> in the python code uh, i am using uh, bycharm bycharm ide we need to install yeah, you, to download and install some libraries like serial this is by serial uh, we need to install and download download and install bandas and xlrd xl utils <coughs> xl utils okay dot copy so we need to install these libraries uh, if you want to install them go to file settings i am using now it's uh, python 3.6 so from here you can download your libraries okay so yeah after importing the libraries <coughs> we need to clear to go to make a excel file with xls format and put it on the directory of the project in my case it's here then read that uh, excel file <coughs> copy the excel file make the sheet put two head uh, headers servo one and servo two okay, let's uh, just open this excel file so i'm naming the data that came from the file from the excel file is data then we need to make the the frame the tick inter frame uh, here we initialize the serial uh, in my case it's com3 the boot rate is uh, 9600 then we need two track bars one for the first uh, servo and the second one is uh, for, for the next for the second servo one for the first servo, one for the second servo. We need this counter. <coughs> uh, this counter is to to write the values continuously to the Excel file. Uh, and then we save that file. 
we need the delay here because we need to this uh, <coughs> this operation to go continuously every time so this function is to send the values we will send them to the servos and to the excel file then we will uh, <coughs> send the values from the file to the servo to the arduino okay <coughs> Uh, just open my <coughs> so if you see here we have the value number one <laughs> is servo one and uh, the value number two is servo two and here we go <coughs> this is the values in your case you will not have these values but uh, after you run this uh, program you will get the values <coughs> So we need this counter again, okay, to loop inside that data, inside this data, this data, okay. And then if the counter is bigger than lin silver one, uh, reset the counter to zero. And this is also like to repeat the operation continuously, like every time. And uh, we, I put the timer here is uh, 50. If you want the servo to go faster, you can uh, make this number small. And if you want a big delay, put a big number here. So yeah, uh, first I will send the data to the Arduino. Let me just run this. close <coughs> just remember to close the the excel file when you run the, the program so yeah And now we will send the data from the file. Let's see. The mouse is here. Servo one, servo two. This project is good if you want to make a, a ro robotic arm or you want the robot to to repeat one movement like many times I think it's uh, good to have this project uh, written by Python because you can modify it and make a very good project. So the servos will repeat the action. Will repeat the actions like every time. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for watching. 
you will find the, the code of the project in the description and I will also give you the excel file so you don't need to make uh, an excel file so yeah see you next time